Hello and welcome back to Cloisterbell, a weekly Doctor Who podcast hosted by Liam and Rob. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cloisterbell podcast. As usual, I'm Rob. And I'm Liam. Hi Liam. Hi Rob. Back again for another mini-sode. Yeah, for God's sake. Uh, yeah, um, as we said, in, well, as you said in the introduction, we're looking at series eleven, and uh, even though I think on the whole we really enjoyed it, and it, it wasn't all that long ago, it's only a few months ago. When you suggested we have a quick look uh, at it, I was just like, oh, blind me! Actually, when I think about it, I don't think I remember an awful lot about it. No, did it even happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did think that maybe before the 12th series comes out we could do a little retrospect of series 11 but today I think it's just a bit of fun we'll just see what we can remember um, have you revisited any of the episodes since it was on um, I think uh, I rewatched a couple of the episodes I, I certainly rewatched the witch finders but um, uh, and maybe Rosa, if I remember rightly. But the thing is, it wasn't that long after uh, they were initially broadcast anyway. So it's, it's not as if it's within... It's not as if I revisited them a lot more recently. How about you? The same here. I think I've watched the first three mm-hmm. um, shortly after the series ended. But no, I haven't, um, I haven't gone and rewatched them. I haven't even bought the series on Blu-ray. Have you? No, no, not yet. I, I have been tempted to because I, I would like to, obviously, um, to own them. But at the same time, I'm quite. Um, I think it'd be quite nice if, to, just to have a Jodie Whittaker box set. Mm-hmm. Um, so, however long she's in the role, hopefully, whenever she comes to the end of it, which hopefully you know won't be for a while yet. Um, just have a have a Jodie yeah. Whittaker box set or something. It's hard. There's not much incentive to buy them at the moment because they're all on iPlayer and I might be wrong but I I think the Blu-ray doesn't have any exclusive mini episodes or anything like that No, I'm not sure, in fact um, because it isn't Resolution which I know technically wasn't a a part of the series, it was the New Year special, Mm -hmm. but um, isn't that its own separate purchase as well? Yes um, just like Twice Upon a Time that's something I don't own yet on Blu-ray. I know it comes with a nice sleeve, so it yep. can match the box sets, but that's one thing I was kind of holding off on buying, thinking, oh, they must include it with Series 11. <laughs> well, the thing is as well, it's sort of, I know that there was a DVD and I think possibly a Blu-ray box set of the entire Peter Capaldi uh, era. All right. But uh, I think, fr- from what I've seen online, that was only avail- available in America. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so, um, which is a bit of a shame, because I, I, I wouldn't mind owning that. So, by the end of this podcast, we'll see which of us um, has the crown for the most knowledgeable about the 13th Doctor. Yeah, because uh, what Rob suggested for, uh, for the structure of this podcast, which I think is uh, really good, and as he said, this is just a bit of fun, is we've um, basically set it up as a quiz. Um. Yes, basically, I thought we'd um, have the first round, which would be us <laughs> telling you what we think the episodes were called. Mm-hmm. And we haven't cheated, we've wrote down 10 episode titles. And then after that, I thought we could take turns um, having to describe each episode in turn mm-hmm. um, and see if we get it right. And you also suggested, which I thought which was good, but also I think of all the ones is probably the toughest, is for bonus points, see if we can remember any of the, the any characters' names. Who are, who are the non-regulars? Yeah, supporting characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't, know if I, I don't know if I've got any game show music, but if I do, <laughs> I'll play it over the podcast now. Liam just sounds really excited and impressed. Are we doing that thing like we do in game shows? Is that, well, my name's Liam, I'm 32 years old, and I'm from Newcastle. 
<laughs> Hello, Liam. Are you ready for round one? Uh, yeah. Okay. For one pint each, I'd like you to tell me all ten of the episodes from series eleven. Okay, right. Um, the woman who fell to earth. The ghost monument. Rosa. Um, the uh, the Saranga conundrum. Arachnids in the UK. Demons of the Punjab. Kablam. The Witchfinders. Taken Away. And the Battle of Grand Something. Uh, Is that your um, final answer? <laughs> the, the Battle of Grand Something. Uh, yeah. Great. Well, I think you got them spot on. Um, takes you away. Oh, it was called. It takes you away. Oh, it takes you away. Right. Okay. Yeah. And the battle of Ransko Abkolos. The battle of what? Ransko Kankvolos. <laughs> what? The battle of Ransko Abkolos. Ah, right. <laughs> Does it ring any bells? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it sounds right. Um, but the thing is, even though you've just said it, I've completely forgotten it already. <laughs> so here's my list. Okay, right, yeah. Okay. The Woman Who Fell to Earth. Mm-hmm. The Ghost Monument. Yeah. Rosa. Mm-hmm. Arachnids in the UK. The mm-hmm. Suranga Conundrum. It Takes You Away. The Witch Finders. The Battle of Ransko Avkolos. I think I spelled it right. Um, and the ones you mentioned that I didn't get was Kablam, which was quite an easy one, probably. And Demons of the Punjab. So now we're each going to be presented with an episode, and we will have to describe that episode within reasonable detail. And for a bonus point, if we can mention the name of a spawn character, yeah, we'll get an extra point for that. <laughs> so, do you want to go first? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, your random episode is episode number three. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, right. Ro- so, Ro- Rosa, right, okay. And you have 30 seconds from now. Um... I thought this was an easy one. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, a racist alien arrives in uh, 1950s America to uh, to stop a major historical event happening, which is um, Rose's protest of racial segregation. And the TARDIS team uh, get involved, stop this absolutely awful uh, event by actually being a part of it. Uh, Graham actually uh, prevents Rosa from... Um, uh, oh, bollocks. Right, okay. <laughs> Okay, it's my turn. Oh, I've picked episode number nine. Which one's that? It takes you away. Ah, right, okay. That should be a good one. Okay, um, I'll start the clock now. In It Takes You Away, um, Graham has a sandwich. The, the doctor talks about the sheep uprising. It's the one with a frog. And they meet the blind girl and... They go through the mirror. There's this weird demon dude in this space in between dimensions. Um, the frog has his own dimension. <laughs> this is vaguely coming back to me. And okay, did I? That was a, that, that, I thought that, I thought that was a good description. You even you even you even got the the sandwiches in there. The sandwich, yes. <laughs> yes. That's one of the most memorable parts. And the sheep uprising, I've completely forgotten about that. <laughs> okay, Liam, yours is episode 7, Kablam. And you have 30 seconds from now. Uh, the TARDIS arrive in effectively what's a future Amazon, which is Kablam. They they send out uh, parcels all around the universe and uh, weird things have been going on uh, where they think it's the automated uh, system that's uh, making everything go haywire, but actually it turns out it's the automated system warning everyone that in fact there's a terrorist uh, 
working in Koblan, and the reason why he's terrorising is because of, uh, I think it's job security or something like that. And uh... That was well remembered. Yeah, I remember I joined that episode. At, um, uh, I, f- I was going to mention um, Dan, I think his name is. I've forgotten the actor who plays him now. He's a, he's a really good comedian. Stuart Lee. Uh, oh, I've forgotten his name now. Never mind. I don't know who you mean. <laughs> he, he's one of the. Uh, he's one of the. Um, have you ever seen uh, Would I Lie to You? It's got David Mitchell, who's one of the uh, the team leads, and then this comedian guy who was in. It's bugging me. I know his name. Ooh. Okay, so my random episode is the Suranga conundrum. Ah, right. Okay. So, your time starts now. There's not much I remember about the Suratsunaga Conundrum. It has a funny name, but it is set on a spaceship, and there's a little alien called the Pating, and it seems like a very scary thing until you see it, and there's still not that much I remember from the story. I don't know if the Pating can be my bonus point, uh, I just don't remember. Um, there's, there's like a warp core for the. Oh. <laughs> but he mentioned the pating, so that's good, yeah. It eats stuff. It eats a lot of stuff. It eats a lot of stuff. And eats a bomb and survives. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for yours? Ooh, the demons of the Punjab. And you have 30 seconds from now. Uh, this is set uh, just before the partition of, uh, of India and Pakistan. Uh, we've got these uh, these alien uh, assassin things, and it looks like they're being um, they're being evil and horrible. But actually, it turns out that they've that they've changed, and they're for reasons which I cannot for the life of me remember. Um, but it's basically to do with the whole um, relationship between what would then become Indians and Pakistans. Um, uh, there, there was a marriage involved, and it was all very nice. You did quite well there. All right, Very okay. good. <laughs> so it's my turn now. And my random episode is Arachnids in the UK. Ah, right, okay, great. Please, please I didn't get that one. Um, the horror. Okay, your time starts now. Arachnids in the UK. Um, it stars Big from Sex and the City. And <laughs> he potentially could come back as president someday. I don't remember his name, so if I get the bonus point for that. But the, there's like a landfill under a hotel and there's spiders all over Sheffield. And it's in Yaz's neighbour's house and the spiders aren't the real villains. Oh, they trap the spiders in some kind of panic room. So Liam, the next one is episode one. The woman who fell to earth. You have ah. 30 seconds from now. Uh, we are introduced uh, to Ryan, who comes across this uh, this bizarre thing in a forest, and him interacting with it triggers everything that happens. Basically, um, there's this alien, who everyone calls Tim Shaw, who's, uh, whose thing is uh, hunting aliens on other planets, but he's, he cheats. Um, the Doctor, who's recently introduced, uh, gets involved and stops Tim Shaw. At the end of it, it all takes place in Sheffield. And um, uh, and it looks like uh, Tim Shaw is dead. By I think bonus point for Tim Shaw. Ah, right, okay, excellent, great. And my next episode is the Battle of Ransko at Colas. Oh, thank God I didn't get that. Right, okay, great. Your time starts now. The Battle of Ransko at Colas um, is the final episode of Series Eleven. The last one before resolution and I don't remember what it was about but um, the um, oh it Tim Shaw's in it um, um, what was it about uh, was that a good a- plot summary <laughs> Well, yeah, because it was a bit more detailed than what mine was going to be, because I was thinking, well, if I get that one, what happened? And nothing happens at all. Um, what did happen? 
you get a point for for mentioning Tim Shaw because he he does come back. Uh, what does happen in that? You see, he's introduced. Is, is there even a battle? <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, I don't think there is. You've got those you've got those two species who are able to build things using their faith. Oh yes. Uh, uh, we'll have to watch that. And uh, <laughs> Oh hang on. Um there's that whole th- there's that whole thing that Graham will kill Tim Shaw, but we know he won't, and he doesn't. He doesn't, yeah. Weren't the people in yellow vats? I don't think so. Didn't we do a two-hour podcast on this somehow? <laughs> <laughs> Blimey, how did we manage that? Is that just two hours Two hours of us going, so what happened again? Yeah. We'll have to listen to that. <laughs> might be insightful. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. <laughs> <laughs> and the final one is episode... Eight, which is the Witchfinders. Right. Okay. You ready for this? Go. Oh. Uh, this is my favourite episode of the series, so I should be able to remember most of it, but I probably won't. Um, basically, there, there there's these uh, things which uh, are manifest of mud. They're horrible and evil. King James pops up, and he flirts with Ryan, and that's all kind of fun to watch. He's played by uh, Alan Cummings. Uh, and there's a whole thing to do with whether the Doctor's a witch or not. Uh... Oh, hang on. Did did we do the ghost monument? No. (laughs) That rememberable? This is the worst quiz ever. (laughs) (laughs) Well, okay, right, okay, well, well, do you want to do the ghost monument then? Okay, I guess it's my turn. Right, okay. Your time... <laughs> Your time starts now. The Ghost Monument is possibly the second episode of Series 11, and the Doctor, Graham, Yaz, and Ryan are transported into deep space, and then they get dragged along in a race between these two competitors, um, and they're racing towards the Ghost Monument, which happens to be the TARDIS, and it phases in and out of existence um, every so often. And now it's time for the scores. I'd just like to point out that since both me and Liam forgot to keep score, we've had to total it up after the editing. Um, So Liam has pre-recorded his reactions to a win, a lose and a draw, which I'll play in a moment. And here are the scores. I got 13 and Liam got a massive 16. And here's a few words from him. Alright, okay, I did a lot better than I thought. That's quite good. And you suck at this. Oh, thanks for that, Liam. Make sure to head over to Twitter and Facebook to congratulate him. I know we'd appreciate that. Uh, Thanks for listening. Head over to cloisterbell.co.uk where you can listen and subscribe. And check out next week's podcast where we will be reviewing a classic 7th Doctor audio, The Fearmonger.